What is up? Whammo here with another game of Left 4 Dead 2 for you. This would be on Death Toll, the new map. You know it. Well, I guess it wouldn't be considered new, but... Whatever, you know. It's, it's vastly untouched, surprisingly enough. Valve really didn't do a lot with this map as far as tweaking it for Charger Jockey Spitter play. So, it leads to some interesting attacks that I'm not sure that they wanted in here. However, it does make it a fun map. Very rage-inducing on this first level, too. Coming into this, this other team was a group of four sitting in a lobby, as our usual teams are. We're going to attack on this ladder here. You have to be careful which side they go up. Both sides can be done very nicely, but one side is worse than the other. I would say the other side is actually a little bit worse than this left side. Which is where they're going to go. There we're going to catch an early tank. A very tricky tank area. There are quite a few cars in different areas around this, mostly on the road, obviously. But they can be hit down into that little gully down there. However, the gully is the better spot to do the tank, seeing as it is so wide open. That being said, you can get wiped down there pretty easily by a tank with good car skills. They're dropping a car right on that guy down there. Perhaps wasn't looking. Gonna make the tank go in right there. Gonna try for the kill. We're gonna attack on that. Try and keep the fire off the tank. There we go. Get a nice jockey there. Charger should be in right behind me. Car going right over the down guy there. Might have just killed him. Hard to say because of this annoying jockey glitch. Ah, uh, come back. There it is. Tank's still up. We did get a good charge there. Tank should be able to use that to down another person. Charger did down Zoe there. There's the car on top of Zoe. Probably going to kill her with another hit. Nope, maybe one more. There she goes. And dead. That leaves only two of them. Very bad position. Like I've said, dual caps are extremely easy to pull off. There they split up just a little bit. Not something you want to do with only two people. Able to down Bill. Francis is the only one left up in a very, very bad spot with the tank on the map and lots of cars. Going to boom him. Need to slow him down. Can't let him run and get points. Tank probably just needs to abandon that car and chase. There we go. Jockey should be able to get that front spawn and end this. Very, very interesting. A hard tank spot. A very, very difficult tank spot. I can say that I've played this map a few times, and almost every time we've had a tank here, it's either we've destroyed the tank or we've been wiped. But uh, we're probably going to do it in this little valley here, this culvert. There are sides to this, if you guys haven't checked it out yet. They kind of go around. Uh, they kind of close in on themselves. It's good for avoiding cars or whatever you might want to do, but it also leaves an area for the infected to spawn while you're running around down there. Something to be aware of. Probably all going to go Uzis. There are two melee weapons at this initial start area. Everybody on Uzis. There's really no reason to take a shotgun on this level. Uh, there are occasionally witches, but normally it's not a big deal. Gonna clear horde. Not expecting an attack right off. Uh, we know that they did have boomer in the first combo but there comes the boom early on it's surprising that they did that perhaps looking for that boom and something tricky for the first attack but it's just not going to happen charger coming in late maybe looking for a charge forward most definitely is but he's not going to be at right angle oh no just a little bit too far back smoker did go in the back at the same time with the jockey up front gonna be able to clean that up real easy nothing to stop us from pushing up to the tank now we do have fire ammo down it's important that you if you get this you want to conserve it you all know that. It's hard to do, especially down here, because there are quite a few zombies. Need to clear off as much horde as we can. This residual horde will cause issues, especially with the tank. There comes in a hunter from the back. Able to clear that out. Might have been a waste. Looking to clean up this back area back here so we have somewhere to run. Smoker up top to the left. Probably not going to cause any issues. There comes the first card down. Oh, maybe got stuck. Tank getting lit. Uh, you can be tricky. Ooh, nice hit on that car. Comes all the way in. Oh, shit. Almost landed on somebody with a bad roll there. Uh, you can shoot the tank and light him just with a couple of rounds and then let him burn for a little bit and then, you know, rinse and repeat. Um, however, fire ammo does do a considerable amount more than regular damage, or regular ammo for damage, not just the burning. So, something to be aware of. If he's sitting back at a distance, you can just take a few pot shots and let him burn, or you can empty your clip into him. Just make sure you're hitting him with the fire ammo. That's the only thing you have to worry about. Jockey in from the back. Also the Boomer and Smoker up front. Charger coming in there from the side. Not going to get a hold of anything. Charge from ways away. Boomer needed three of us, which means the tank is probably going to come in. Going to use my last few fire rounds to light him. I don't think he can hit that first car. Yeah, that first car is not hittable. Um, we probably should just push around him as opposed to backing up. Going to get messed up over here. Someone getting charged forward that looks like Domino. And charged forward down on that platform. It's a very bad spot to be in. He needs to just drop off that platform. 
Oh, that's right. He runs forward, doesn't he? Yes, he does. I think he gets pounced up there, too. Tank is hitting this car around. Not able to connect with anything, though. Just not working for him. With that little overpass there, it is difficult to hit that car. There, Dom does get pounced up there and go down. We should be able to clear that Hunter, but there is a lot of horde up there, and we have a tank down here with a car to deal with. Just can't put the fire on that we need to. Tank's still up. Dom clearing a little bit of horde as it comes to him. There goes the jackdown center. We are splitting up a little bit. Maybe a lack of coordination. Nobody's really calling anything. We're just kind of running around. But uh, Tank is still up. He's getting into the car, maybe. I don't know if he put that last one out of play. Dom's in a very bad spot, though. It's going to be difficult to get to him. Going up here, there is still a tank up here. About 15% life on Domino up there. Probably not going to be able to get him. It's just not going to happen. Tank is bodyguarding, and there is no chance of us getting up there with that tank up there. Throwing some bad rocks. Whatever. Dom's dead. Bam. That leaves three of us. Tank is probably only a quarter health. There comes Charger Boomer, and Boomer did not hit anything. Surprisingly enough, Charger also missed his charge. Should be a hunter in here somewhere. Might have gotten cleared there. A good all-at-once attack, however, nothing landed. Should be a tank up here. There he is. Just trying to bait him as best I can. Tank is AI. Only AI tanks crawl like that. Should be able to melt him from here. Hopefully. Oh, nice lead on that rock. And there the tank goes down. Smoke was a little bit late there. Should be able to move forward now. They do have three up still. Which could cause an issue. Especially if it's a spitter. So obnoxious right there. Jockey does. And I walk off the edge. Oh, derp. Walk off the edge right there. And the smoker goes. <laughs> oh, that was so my fault after that. After that nice tank. Grizzly there apparently wants a game. Little does he know I'm casting. So an even first round makes for a good second round, let's hope. Into the sewers now. Uh, this area has an interesting opening here. Uh, it was kind of funny in Left 4 Dead 1 the way it worked with so many boomer spawns out there. It was a, a difficult opening area, but now with the, uh, you know, the three more infected, it's infinitely more uh, random as to how you take an attack out there. It can go very bad. It can definitely go very bad. You've got two spawns on the outer sides. I'm sure you guys have played this, but you've got a, high, a low spawn on the left and a high spawn on the right. You're going to be watching those, looking for that boomer. Do not want to take a boom in here. It's a very bad spot. So many separations. There goes the boomer. Hitting three of us, and Jockey's going to push me all the way back in the safe room. So bad that I was separated. I am the green guy, which means nobody knows where I'm at. Going to take a lot of damage from this Jockey, but thankfully it is a Jockey. Charger did go outside for a little bit of damage. There they're coming in now to clear this jockey. Taking way more damage than I should have for that thing. Entirely my fault. I backed up a little far from that boomer. Now we're free to run though. The entire team is down. I don't recommend you take the right tunnel for this. Uh, simply because of the chargers. If you get charged out of that right tunnel, it's an instant down. And you just you don't want to have that happen. <laughs> Running this way is quicker anyway. It's, it's easy. Sitting on slow health. Don't want to heal quite yet. We have an event up here and we're coming again tier 2. Should be okay for about another attack. Looking for that looking for that attack. Did get a nice boom there, but I just don't see any infected coming in landing anything. There a charger up front looking for the pushback, but he does get stopped on a soda can on the ground or something crazy like that. Not quite going to do what he wanted to. Ooh, boomer on the ladder. Going to pop right there and get the second person. Not a terrible thing to have happen. He will soak up all the horde in this area. And we should be able to start the event with no troubles now. Oh, sh long range weapons up here, which is curious and bad for this map. Probably should be starting the event right now. There's no reason to wait to start this. Looks like I'm going to be the one who does it. There we go. The faster you start this event, the better. I mean, there's it's just not a good room to wait in. There's so much crap that can happen in here. Looking for these boomers, looking for spitters, looking for anything that's going to come out of here and hurt us. There's a charger up front. Oh, I should have seen that on the second turn back. Going to take a dual cap and a nice spit there. Pipe did go out at a very prime time. You got to cut all that horde. 
very, very useful for that. Allowed us to clean it up rather quickly. Gates should be open before they have another attack. Quite a bit of horde over there. Jesus. All crawling up the same spot. Good for us. Definitely good for us. Only one set of pills in this room. There's always only one set of pills in that room, guys. Don't bother sending in more than one person because you don't need to. Killing off the horde in this tunnel. It, this can be a bad charger, or I guess a good charger spot. As right there shows. You can do quite a bit of damage with a charger in this area. Especially if you have a spitter or a boomer for support, as they did right there. We did catch a tank at the end of that tunnel. Uh, pushing back to the event area is probably the better idea. However, there is still quite a bit of horde coming in from this. Because we did take that boom up there. And this area seems to be very horde happy. It'll trickle in for no reason whatsoever. Regardless, it is a decent area to take a tank in. Catching that rock nicely with my face. Gonna take a lot of horde now. Tank is on the map. He is down here. Gonna try and go for a couple of hits. He's gonna get one. Will he get any more? Should be putting fire on him right now. Everybody should be shooting him. Something I can't stress enough about tanks. You just have to shoot it. Saturn out there jumping around. Gonna take a pounce right next to the tank. Which means the tank's gonna try and rock him there. Gonna hold him down. And down him. Once you take that first hit, when you're next to a tank, it's pretty much over. Very bad scenario now. Three of us down. Tank's still on the map. Probably at about a third health. Gonna get very... Oh, very low health, actually. Did go down right there, but there is a smoker chasing Dom. Needs to be careful of that. Gonna catch the smoke. Is he gonna be able to be cleared by Saturn? Hopefully. There he goes, getting cleared and then jockeyed. Not quite able to shoot that jockey. Such slippery little buggers. Charger is body blocking now. Momentarily freeing him and then downing him. Uh, I think it was just more uncoordinated attack. Or uncoordinated fire, rather, on that tank. Maybe we could have done a little bit better. I don't know. Hopefully we can wipe their team at this tank. It is a, an interesting tank spot. It's hard to pull off. On a uh, on a tricap boomer, good combo for this area. If you can get the boom off, gonna probably need a distraction. Probably throw a lesser infected, such as this jockey right here, in for distraction on that boom. Coming out now, they may bait this. There goes the bait. Looking for that boomer, not gonna happen. Joe Bar switching up positions at the last second. Is it gonna be able to get that boom off? There he spawns, and does it happen? Charger going right there. Don't know if he hit anything, I don't think he did. Boomer did get two. Smoker able to do a couple of dings worth of damage on a green guy before getting cleared. Not a whole lot of damage out here. But sometimes that's how it goes in this area. Can't be bad or good. They're gonna be able to push all the way up to that tier two. Perhaps even up to the drop point before they get attacked again, if they go quickly, which it doesn't look like they're doing. Might be able to take advantage of this slow guy here. There we go. Not quite. Oh, Smith's going to down him. Looking for that down on Bill. Hoping to drop him in this area, but it's not going to happen. Oh, maybe it will. Smoker trying for the last second pull, but it's just not happening with this guy. Does not want to go down. Pushing up here to the event. They should know we don't have anything up. So I don't know why they're stopping right here and waiting at all. They're just checking the server. I don't know if you guys have ever played on custom servers or anything like that, but it tends to be they are a little funky. Uh, things aren't quite like they should be sometimes. Things you have to watch out for when playing this game. People like to port it to their own servers. Even if it looks legitimate, you should always try that command when you first start off. In this case, because it says I do not have rights to access that command, it is a modded server. Which doesn't necessarily mean it's modded, it just means that it's not official. Oh 
Looking for an attack here. Not going to get anything off that. No boomer in the combo. Waiting for this gate to open. Might be able to get a charge back here or wait further up into the tunnel for my team to be in. We do have a tank here. So it's a tricky call whether or not you push them into the tank or you stop them from running back after the tank has spawned. It really depends on how far up that tank spawns. Now we are looking at a decent setup for a tank spawn. Nothing impressive. Hopefully they don't hopefully they don't spawn block back here though. There they go, moving forward. Don't want to get too spread out, but you do want to cover spawns a little bit. Looking for a spawn here. It's very important when you know there's a tank coming to just hold your spawns. And there I get the tank, of course. Gonna spawn the charger, move in last second. Tank is a mile away. So far away from him. It's gonna take me a while to get in there. They're lighting a molly in that first tunnel. Hopefully it's not carrying over to this one. No, it's not. Might be able to get a hit on this guy. Not going to happen. I'm going to rock him from here. Hopefully. No, he, I am just a little off to the side. Looking for some rock action. <clears throat> Able to miss another one. Going to try and hide. Wait for my infected to be in. Going to need a good boom or at least some kind of distraction to go out into this area. They had a boomer on us when this tank spawned. They had a huge advantage that way. They were catching an underhand throw in a bad spot. So obnoxious. Just gonna run out here and take some fire. Get lit, drop into the fire and put myself out. Not a big deal getting lit in here. Gonna try and rock as best I can. I was actually aiming for Francis there. <laughs> Trying to down him. He's not safe right there. You can clip people with rocks. There we go. Able to down him and then taking a lot of fire right there. Looking for another tricky rock. Not going to happen. Getting very low on health. Going to die up in here somewhere eventually. And almost dead. Oh, so close. So very close to dying. We do have an attack in now, though. Only three of them up. Should make it easy for that attack to go off. There comes a the charger. Everything at once. Going to use that opportunity to throw a rock. Hopefully hitting something. There we go, able to drop a rock on the green guy. Not who I wanted, but it does work. Maybe gonna land another rock? No, not quite far enough out. Very low on health, only 150 health. It's less than a charger. Able to down uh, Bill there. With a good lead on that rock. Two green guys up though. I am so low. A couple more shots and I am down. Doing my best to extend the life of that tank out a little bit. However, it just wasn't working. We did not get any boomers off into this area like we should have. There's the boomer now. Would have been very useful before. But that's the way it goes. If we can get him boomed well in this tunnel here, or before that, we should be able to take care of him pretty easily. Only did get one with that boom, which means it's only going to slow him down just a little bit. We do catch quite a bit of horde in this area. Pondering a pullback. But, don't know. Really depends where the other infected want to go. And being that we are uh, on a charger, should be able to get something tricky in the tunnel here. Able to land on the last guy and Hunter up front on the front guy. Me getting this middle one. Very nice. Not going to do a lot of damage, but it is a good separation attack. Able to down Zoe. Building those damage points. Trying our hardest to kill him. Need to wipe this team. Can't let them get too many of these extra points. Because right now, all they're getting is lead right here. Zoe's so rather low. Probably going to be looking for a set of pills or something along those lines. Getting a boomer here. Need to get this at my uh, earliest opportunity. Don't know what I'm waiting for. There we go. Should be able to get a good roof boom. Uh, we do have a charger in here, so the separation should be good as well. Gonna use that for distraction. Dropping the spoon right on top of him along with that spit. Should be able to... There we go. Popping him in the spit. Gonna take so much damage. Not quite able to down two. But very, very close. 
took a lot of health right there with that spitter, which is still up. And he's going to be able to stop Zoe from getting up for that much longer. Beautifully done. Hopefully we can get another attack in here before Zoe gets up. They are all still extremely low. Extremely, extremely low. Getting a charger. Just need to go for slaps. So many opportunities. Get that spawn. There we go. All of them down right there. Very critical. We cut quite a few points by downing them right there as opposed to letting it get the safe room. Number of points going to make a huge difference. Definitely an interesting round. Getting into the thick of it now. We are still a little bit behind, so we're going to play Infected be first here. Be first? Yes, be first Infected. Uh, on this map, there is always Tier 2 in this little shack to the right, so you can almost always count on the fact that the survivors are going to head here first. Uh, interestingly enough, it's almost always a shotgun. Matter of fact, I don't think I've ever seen it anything but a shotgun. Curious, but you can use that to your advantage, especially Charger Spitter. If you can get that charge off. Oh, just barely missing. Gonna spit the spot where he's gonna stand. Hopefully, slow him up just a little bit. Smoker able to get a nice pull there, pulling right into that spit. A few more dings of damage. Uh, not quite how I was hoping it to go off. Uh, Bill kind of sensed that charger being right there, I guess. This map has tons of supplies, so really you don't want to focus on, uh, you know, killing them. You want to focus on doing that damage. There is a difference in how you attack, by the way. Just got to get those damage points. Building damage at every opportunity. You can utilize this. You can utilize rather this separation, but it's not a very good one. That was a terrible boom. I can't believe how bad that boom was. It's not a good separation, if you ask me. Now the people in front can always come back. It just—it's a long run for the people in back to come forward again. There's a witch up front, middle of the road, a little ways up there. Not going to be a huge issue. There is not too many spawns up there. Everybody's down. Uh, we may have something in for that witch, although I don't know if we should play off her or not. Turtle making the run at the last second. Gonna be able to get that no problem. Easily done. Might be able to get a boom off at the bus. Very difficult area to boom in. Not a lot of close spawns like you want when you're booming. Trying for a corner pull. Boomer does get popped right there. Gonna get a little bit of separation. Gonna do a lot of damage to this guy. Horde and a smoke is a lot of damage. Boom does slow him up there. There is quite a bit of horde in this area and it seems to come out of nowhere. So it's hard to clear it. Like I said, lots of supplies in these houses. Fully stocked. Which means they're gonna keep on running. Should have an attack up at the house. Perhaps a charger spit and another tank. Huh. Catching tanks all over the place on this server. Spawning that charger. If I have a charger, I do like to spawn it. Because chances are it'll die first and we'll get another one. Um, I didn't know it at the time. But there is a car up in front of this semi up here to the right. That you can use to car tank in this area. Do not want to get lit though. Very bad. Don't think I'm gonna be able to rock from here, it's just too far away. We got a lot of people aiming Molotovs at me. That one just barely missed and I get hit by a bile. Gonna just back up over the roof. Should be backing up over the roof. There we go. Horde isn't gonna do a whole bunch of damage. Whole bunch of damage. Just need to kill what comes from it. Shouldn't be a huge issue. Yeah, only a couple hundred off that, and they did catch another horde because of it. Gonna lose the tank here, though. That rock's gonna destroy that zombie's face. I love it when rocks hit zombies. Losing the tank. Not knowing that car was there. I'm looking over here, and I see the car now. I'm thinking to myself, God damn it, why didn't I go for that? We should be able to get one more team attack in, though, before the tank has to go in because he's gonna lose it. Not a good combination of weak jockey, spitter, and hunter. Probably should just be going for distractions right now. Trying to let that tank get that car. Hopefully and use it well. He's able to get a good hit with that car there and down someone. 
Very nice. And he hits the car out of play. That sucks so bad. He's still quite a bit of health, though. Oh, the car's going to bounce off that pole and stay out of play. Very bad. He's losing so much health right there. The down guy does get back up, and the car comes back into play. Half health on the tank, and they are pushing forward. If we can down somebody outside, it would be very, very nice. Maybe going to happen. Oh, is it going to hit Zoe? It is going to hit Zoe. Beautifully done. They did buy all the tank again. Very bad idea. Going to charge this guy outside. Take down the health. Tank needs to hit that car one more time. There it is. Beautifully done. Able to down two people. Might be able to kill him right here with two people down in a car on the map. Smoker did go off in the house on the guy who was by himself. Lewis is now desperately trying to get in there to clear him. Jockey's going to end that quickly, though. A very nice last minute attack there and an extremely good car by that tank. Dropping it right on Zoe at just the right time. Going to give us an opportunity to make up the points that we missed in the last round. Hopefully. Still, this map it does have a crescendo at the end. And unfortunately, the tank or the points don't take that into account. Which is kind of obnoxious. But what can you do, right? That should really only be about, oh, I'd say a quarter or three quarter. Or a quarter or half map, rather. As opposed to a three quarter map lead right there. Coming into this, we have the same idea they do. We're going to rush into that right room up there and grab the tier 2. Uh, you do have to be aware of the attacks. That being said, most teams prefer to attack right out of the gate. Because there are quite a few spawns behind you. And it can be good. However, if you go charge at first and completely miss green survivors, which is going to happen just about every time you charge completely green survivors with no horde, probably not going to work too well as an attack. There's a shotgun. There's a zombie standing on it, which means you can't pick it up. There we go. Rushing forward, there's no reason to check anything else back here. Just grab the gun and go. You don't need any other supplies because there's just so much crap in front of this map. They're going to have an attack in forward, the drop. We are a little bit separated, but we are two and two. A definite good thing. Weapons here. Grabbing the melee weapon. Some pills and a Molotov. Just the things that I wanted. There is a boomer up outside. Don't know where. There's a lot of spots that that boomer could be in. So it's hard to say where he's at. He's either above or below. I doubt he's on the same level. Not seen him above. <coughs> which means he must be below. Unfortunately, there are a lot of areas for a Boomer to run into. I think he did just get me. However, because the attack is up, we're not going to run past that separation quite yet. Going to wait till I can see again. There we go. There goes that charge for a separation. Very nice, but did not make it all the way. Ooh, there is a boomer there. Just about shot him, but not going to do that. Very nice. We can separate now. We can go across that drop and hopefully clear the witch in time. There goes the hunter. Not a big deal. There's a smoker up as well. Going to take another separation. Did not mean to fall down, but I'll say that I did it just to stay two and two. Somebody should be going for that witch, though. She's kind of in the way and needs to be dealt with, but I don't know if anybody else has a shotgun. Hmm. Jackie is up. Maybe going to go for the separation again. Don't know how useful that's going to be, though. Not going to happen. Witch is still up here. An easy kill. There's nothing here. Easy as that. Jockey is still chasing. I don't know why. Probably should have just despawned it by now. Boomer up from the left. Able to clear that before it does any kind of booming whatsoever. Very nice. Still do catch a little bit of a natural horde there, though. Not a big deal. Again, lots of supplies in the house. Nothing we really need, though. Seeing as we are all full. Coming into the tank now. We need to be aware of where this car is, though. That's one thing I would say. If you do catch a tank here, is to back up a little bit. Maybe even back past the bus. There's the tank spawn. Smoker in the back, oddly enough. Maybe should have been waiting for the tank spawn up front with that smoker, but... Who knows? Jockey, Boomer... There it is. And Smoker all over there. Jockey chasing now. Not going to be able to do much. We're now backed up to our good spot now. Where we're going to sit. And this is quite a good spot. There are a few spawns to the sides for Boomers to close spawn in. But 
All in all, it's better than the other spots that are around here. That hunter is still pouncing onto the right, trying to get something tricky. There he is. Don't know how I cleared that guy. Wow, that shot was way off. Boomer in the back somewhere. There he is. Does hit one of us, which means the tank may come in on that. Somebody did light that car with a Molotov, which is a very good idea. Keeps it from coming into play for a little bit longer. Able to clean up any horde from that boom and be ready for the tank to come in now. There he has the car. We have a lot of cover on the left and right. Probably not going to take a hit from that car. There's simply too much cover in here. Looking for my Molotov. Trying to find that tank. He's hiding in the shrubbery though somewhere. Oh, there's a car right there. Careful of wobbling cars, guys. If you run into a car that's wobbling back and forth, it sometimes will down you. Not a good thing to have happen. And it kind of sucks. It's nobody's fault but your own. Gonna maybe get that light off. Yes, able to light the tank. While being pounced and smoked at the same time. There comes the smoker again. Able to down Domino with that car while he's trying to clear my smoker. Not good at all. I should not rush up. There we go. Get behind the tree. Putting some fire in the tank. Dom does die again. We should be able to down the tank from here, though. He's got to be very low in health. There he goes. Last desperation swing on me right there. No, he didn't quite go down. There we go. One more axe swing and he goes down. Weapons over here. I think there might be a defib further ahead in the map. Reloaded. However, I'm... Not sure if it's really worth it to come back. Eh, it probably is. I mean, there's so much crap on this map anyway. Might as well. And seeing as we wipe them, we can give them all the damage that, that we want. So long as we stay alive, we still get more points. So, defib, yes. Do it. We do have Dom scouting for the defib while he's dead. Something you should always do with dead guys is scout for supplies, defibs, medkits, whatever. Something very useful. Grabbing the medkit, going back. There is a hunter in the house. Uh, he's probably going to chase us, but that's not a good idea. <laughs> Everybody's on rifles and there's nothing else out here. Um, yeah. If they were smart, they'd be set up on his body. Uh, I'm not sure if they do this time. We'll see. Hmm. There's a charger. Looking for a charge back. Able to just clip me there. Smoke and spit do go off right where they're supposed to. Gonna cause a little bit of damage, but we are on heavy supplies. Nothing to worry about. Gonna defib him right there. And take a jockey. By himself. Not gonna do much. Tom, I don't think, has a gun or anything. That's okay. Better to move forward. There's lots of stuff in that house. Catching a natural horde there, and then Saturn molotoving exactly where they're coming from. He says that he heard him, which is very good for us because that killed almost that entire natural. It's exactly where they were coming from. All the way up to the house, nothing eventful up to this point. Gonna catch a boom. They are dual support. You heard that spit earlier. Charger smoker. Spit does. I was gonna say miss, but I guess it didn't miss per se because it did hit me for quite a few dings. Crazy spread in this house with that spit. Using the medkits, you're gonna leave off pills for so long. We might need these. So many supplies on this map, so so many. Up to the church with the crazy guy in the safe room. Hunter Spitter in the back. And Smoker. Spitter way late to that party. Not going to do any kind of damage. Not quite going to run through that spit, so I'm just going to grab one of these guys here. Gas cans are useful on the spot. Uh, there are a few key areas that you can light to cut about, no, oh, I don't know, half the horde. 75% of the horde. About right here. There you go. You light that can, and it kills most of the horde that comes in here. I 
wait to light cans, waiting. They have an attack up. Chances are it's going to come in with the horde. There goes the boom from above. Jockey in also from above. I'm Nothing else there. There's the spitter. Finally coming in along with the charger. I don't know why they were so separated when they came in there. Could have done a lot more damage had they been all at once. Boomer's still up on the roof. It's hard to clear things that are on that roof, but you can run outside there. While the horde's down, run outside and off to the right, and you can hit that roof. A lot of the times the infected don't expect it. It's something to be aware of. There's that boomer again. Looking for the clear. There we go. Very nice. Not too concerned about a boom in here. We do have a lot of supplies, and it is a, a decent room for holding up against horde. That uh, gas can out there in that good spot did burn up most of the horde, though. Or all the horde, actually. There's no horde came in here. Jockey by himself. Not going to do a lot. Especially in an area like this. It may have just been a waste, though. Who knows? Need to be watching that hole above me. There's a smoker from the hole above me. <laughs> Gotta be watching that hole. Spit did go down in the middle of the room. Trying to get on this piano. Failing miserably. There we go. Charge landing in the corner in the spit. Not going to do a whole lot of damage, though. Doing my best to shoot that spitter that I know is over there. But you just can't shoot through that ceiling. That or I just can't aim. <sighs> Gonna grab some ammo, even though it's entirely unnecessary. Waste the pipe bomb. The, the event's pretty much over now. As soon as the spit clears, we can go in that room. I have yet to see an infected in here, like there was in Left 4 Dead 1. Which I kinda liked. I wish they'd bring back the infected in here. All the way through the map, able to take the lead on the score, thanks to that good tanking. Very nice. We do take a defib penalty, but that's well worth it considering that gained us a lot of points. But it is still only a few hundred point game, and it is far from over. I am still a little bit sick, if you can't tell. I'm kind of, you know, can't breathe out my nose. <laughs> but uh, hopefully that doesn't affect this too much. Out of the safe room, you can take a number of devastating attacks although they have to be timed perfectly so it's really not something you have to worry about so long as you come into it correctly you do have to bait just a little bit just to figure out where the spawns are in this case we know there's a charger above us if we all rush off left we should be just fine there we go no trouble whatsoever charger hunter boomer coming in right there there's the boomer getting picked charger not landing on anything there he is not gonna hit anything with that I don't know what their fourth was huh anyway able to move quickly for those who didn't play Left 4 Dead 1, there are a number of shortcuts through this area. This is one of them right here. I'm a fan of doing that because it does cut almost an entire attack out. And in this game, it is all about cutting attacks. If you can move through an area in a different way that cuts out an attack and maybe makes you miss a Molotov or something, you know? Sometimes it's worth it, sometimes it's not. Grabbing some pills. Ah, Pills Deagle in here. There's always something on that bench there, getting that boomer up front. Gonna stop, up, stop us up in this doorway. Spit does go down right there for a separation. However, I don't think we would have pushed forward much further than this right here anyway, under the influence of that boom. Good amount of horde left still. There is a hunter up somewhere. Maybe looking for a damage pounce. Need to be aware of that. There he is in the back. Charger up front. Looking for that charge back. Gonna get melted before he lands. Hunter coming in as well. Not quite gonna land. A good attempt, just a little bit missed time. Should be able to make it up into the room now. Hopefully. Sometimes there is good stuff in here. Nothing in here this time. Boomer up front does get a boom on the guy that is up front. But I've said it before and I'll say it again. If you boom the guy up front, everybody's gonna catch up to him. And that is not what you want to have happen. Smoker trying for something tricky back there, but they just just made it over that railing. Not going to do anything. Spitter does die in the doorway for a delay. A good idea, however, maybe should have gone for damage with that charger. There was a witch up front now, and I have not the slightest clue where she's at. Completely missed her. You can see her in the bottom left of the screen right there. I didn't see that when I was playing. There I see her. Going to be able to clear her with no issues. Uh, this event... Uh, Left 4 Dead 1 would say that you wait this out, however Left 4 Dead 2 is a much more rush happy game. Waiting this out is almost detrimental. You take way too many attacks in a very bad area. Even under the influence of this boom, you need to rush this area. It, you simply take too much horde 
from the area that's up front. I mean, it's such a horde heavy area. Running out of ammo there. Uh, <laughs> always grab ammo off that table, guys. Uh, I very much so regret not going back and grabbing that ammo. You'll see why in a second. We just... Well, you'll see. Lots of horde in this area. It's, it's crucial to clear the horde. And move ahead quickly, very quickly. You have to go as fast as you possibly can in this area. You need to watch the attack in this initial tunnel. It can be extremely bad. Especially if everybody packs up like that. There we go. Taking that attack. Charger hit a lot of us. Smoker and Jockey up as well. Spit down in that tunnel. The well's going to hurt. Oh my god, that hurt so bad. Didn't quite see it in time. Hopefully you can move forward now. Clearing out some of the horde. Looking for something in this room. Your gun, anything. It doesn't matter. I take a melee weapon right now too, but I just don't have one. Looking down the barrel of another attack. Should be coming in quickly here. Probably at this uh, little cross platform. Where's it at? There's the charger up front. Almost a good charge, but he does not drop anyone down. Which is where the damage happens here. Apparently nobody decided to clear that charger. Spit going down on Saturn. They're not good at all. Take the shot. Probably need to heal too. There we go. Joe getting jockeyed off the edge. Going to get Saturn up on this shot. Hopefully he should be able to catch up to us by then. So, so much horde in this area. This would be a lot easier if I had a gun or a melee weapon. I should be able to hand off melee weapons, I think. Pretty sure that another guy has run out of ammo here as well. So we're down to two guys with guns, the other two on a melee weapon and Deagle. Don't want to get smoked off that roof. Oh, such a bad thing to have happen. I do not want to drop for him because I only have a Deagle. It would be painful for me to drop. Not what you want to do. Getting charged off forward with a guy in the back. Don't know where anybody's at right now because I have no idea where people went. Looks like a guy in the back is able to catch up. Should be able to drop in now. Taking so, so much horde here. Able to get in the safe room and shut the door. I could not believe we made that run. Very, very difficult run to make. I was sweating bullets that entire time. Hopefully it's as hard for the other team, but more often than not, it's not. We do have that witch to uh, play off of at the event, if we so choose. It can be useful. Like I said, this opening attack, very tricky. Very, very tricky. It can be very bad or very easy to avoid. <laughs> uh, it depends how they come off here. We'll see what they do if I'm going to be able to get this charge off. Not quite going to have to get stuck in a fucking hole in the ground here. Not quite what I wanted to do, but it's going to give me a few scratches. On Francis. Uh, four scratches, that's not bad at all. A triple boom going off there, along with a good pounce. Able to lay down quite a bit of opening damage, considering the area. We'll see if they check all the rooms. Some people prefer to uh, go through every house up here in the front to look for that initial Molotov. However, I prefer to skip the opening area. Like I said, it's... I think it's better to skip an entire attack. Especially in an area such as this, this uh, alleyway up here. Right about here is where you would take the attack if you search those houses. Instead, they push it all the way up into this next room. Might be able to get a good charge, Spit. Needs to be done quickly. There it is. Spitter a little bit late, but that shouldn't be an issue. They are all stuck in it. I get cleared by the shotgun spam that happens on the Spitter Smoker. Very nice. That death puddle did down Francis there, trying to run through it, not knowing that it was there because of that Smoker Haze. Beautiful. Gotta keep one guy slow, or at least waste some med kit. Or pills, I guess. Or a shot. I guess if he wants to take a shot, that works too. Should have one more attack for this room here. If we do get a spitter charger, yes we do. It can be a good room to deal out tons of damage, seeing as they like to pile up in it, if they see anything on the door. Because they're so concerned about getting pulled back, which in reality you shouldn't be. There comes Turtle up front. Gonna clear the room spawns, but does not move out into this next room, which is what you need to do. You need to get the first guy out in this room, and hopefully block spawns. Hunter in first, Charger in right after him. Zoe is gonna block my spit, even though it looked like it went past her right there. Not good for me. I'm gonna cut the damage we did by that attack by a great number. 
I was hoping to spit past him, but it didn't quite work. It did hold him up to the doorway for a little bit. We also have this witch down here, which I don't think anybody is going to be up in time to play for. Uh, if they remember it's there, probably. They might just go around it, I guess. Is there a choice? Looks like they did avoid it. Oh, maybe going back for it now. Looks like they are going back for it, and they do take a boom right on top of her. Boomer able to scratch the witch and get shot on her. Gonna set her off. Might be able to play on that. Hopefully she can down somebody. Going to down build there on top of those sandbags. Very nice. Very, very nice. Indeed. Hunter able to down, or not down, but pounce on a guy there for a little bit of damage. Trying to keep that Hunter on that guy for as much as I can. Where the hell did I die at? What the fuck? There we go. Hunter did down Zoe. And Bill's down there as well. Going to let the horde develop just a little bit before they move into this next area. Spitter trying to make it last for a little longer. Not quite in time, though. That's the way he's going to get off a heal. Very good idea. You want to heal before you come to this. You do not want to have any kind of kit action because you're not going to get a chance to use it in this area. Taking a sweet time on this. We could boom him and attack him here. However... If you do that, I feel like they would rush past the hallway, which is the definitely the preferable attack spot. We are saving for the hallway. We do not want to give up this combination. It is a very good combo. A good charge back along with the boom, and maybe even a smoke up front and a jockey for support can be very, very good right here. Teams tend to severely underestimate how much damage the horde does. Especially in an area like this. Just so much of it. Waiting for him to come into the hallway. They are searching the rooms, looking for pills, molotovs, pipe bombs, whatever. Can be useful here. There's the charge up front. Gonna land on one and I'm gonna come in with the boomer right after that. Hopefully hit more than one. There we go, hitting three of them. And the Charger gets a recharge from that Boomer Explosion. Very, very strong charge forward. Horde is going to stop them from clearing that very quickly. Oh, they're not going to clear it very quickly at all. Jockey in the back on the green guy is going to deal out some damage himself. All the way back into the laundry room. Very nice while well, the people in front deal with the Horde. And now they're low health. In this area, only a few more hits and each one of them will be slow. Getting another Boomer. Very good. Should be able to drop a boom on him at least somewhere in this area. Looking for this boom. I don't quite know these rooftops yet. Hoping for something tricky. Able to get three of them. Yes, very good in this area. We do have a charger hunter up. Might be able to cause some issues for them. They're a great pounce. That was an impressive pounce for 10 damage right there off the wall. Charger should be in here somewhere. There he is going to charge off, I hope. Yes, very nice. Back into the initial hallway. Very good charge there. Able to kill one of them. Lewis is probably going to die as well. No chance they're going to clear him. Hunter going to try and down Zoe on the separation. Will he get it? Yes, he will. Francis is rushing for the safe room. Going for gold. Going to shut the door, and that is that. That run could have gone a lot better for them, but I would say it... Uh, it, it we got messed them up pretty good right there. For how many points that we gain from it anyway. Still a close game. Still definitely a close game. Last map now. Uh, this is an interesting uh, finale map. Not because it's broken, which I probably shouldn't have said. I'm just going to pretend like it's not broken. But because of the fact that you have quite a run before you get to the house that you have the finale at. Something I like, actually. I like it quite a bit. It allows you to uh, really separate the good from the bad teams. I mean, sometimes it seems like the finale events are a little too, I don't know, easy for bad teams to do, but whatever, you know. Because this uh, finale is broken, we pretty much just have to make it all the way there and we get full points, which means that the game would be over. I'm going to pretend like that's not the case, though. You have to be cautious of this first attack, as in Left 4 Dead 1. There are a lot of combinations that can come out of this. <laughs> need to watch out for the boomers off the roof. Uh, sometimes it's best to just run the bait. Hoping to avoid that charger right there on the right who revealed himself a little too early. A little anxious for this attack. Gonna run out there. Use Saturn as the bait. Able to clear that charger and the hunter. Looking for that boomer. Where is it at? From the back. Only gonna hit one of us. 
I know the boomer's in there, so I'm gonna go for him, being not boomed as I am. There he is, trying to run away. Gonna clean him up. Do not want to get a respawn on that boomer. Smoker is still up on the roof, but not gonna be too big of an issue though. Should be able to run all the way to the house. Hopefully. Maybe gonna take an attack at the stairs. I don't know. Well, I shouldn't say I don't know. I do know. <laughs> Clean out the horde. Sometimes they're... Ooh, good charge there. Gonna not do any separation. Could have been a lot better than it was. Uh, nothing in for support on that charger. There is sometimes stuff in this house. Always check the house. Be aware, though, that it is a rape room. If you send the entire team in there, you're going to get spat on and destroyed in it. Smoker in the back on the last guy. A good smoke. Not quite able to make it happen very well, though. The hunter did miss his initial, his initial target, which probably would have been the guy who came to save me. Not quite able to make that do as much damage as they would have liked. Spitter is still up in the back. Probably going to go back for that despawn. Not a big worry. Checking this house on the left. There are sometimes things in here, and there's sometimes things in the gazebo. Uh, you should probably just check both of them. Uh, it's not going to hurt anything. However, if you're sitting like we are, which you're on pretty much full supplies, you might want to save one for later. Perhaps when a tank comes in or something like that, when you're getting moved around the map, if you need something, check it. A number four, and you're going to catch a boom before the event gets started. I'm curious why they wasted that right there. It could have been much better served after the event was started, perhaps looking for that good positioning outside the house as opposed to us holding up inside of it. Still not able to get a lot of damage down. Satter does need to heal, but there are med packs on this map. Par the usual for finales. Lots of supplies here. Catcher gonna coke. Catcher gonna... Smoker going to catch me unawares out here. Boomer is up somewhere in those trees. I don't know where. Smoker is also up down there though. Maybe should just go for the uh, boomer here. There's the smoker. There's the boomer. Very nice. The event is on. It's very easy to hold this one up. Upstairs. Not too much to worry about up there. Hold the four corners up here, and it's it's a rather easy event. About the only thing you have to worry about is the charge spit combos with support, especially when they come out of that little hole in the roof up there. Anything short of that, though, is just not too terribly good up here. There's an early spit. Look at Joe Bar there. Not gonna have anything to keep him in it, though. Another wave of horde now. I'm looking for that attack to come in. Expecting something here, but it's just not happening. Keep looking at that roof hole, expecting it to break at any minute. Ready to shoot whatever comes out of it. There goes the break. I think it was a spitter up there that did it. Gonna open up that avenue of attack. Which is probably the best way to attack on survivors in this room right here. Is through that hole in the roof. Perhaps something in from the side to the left there. Reloading. We are on a tank now. There's a number of places you can do this tank on this map. Uh, most of them you know from Left 4 Dead 1, I imagine. I'm gonna take a charge smoke into the water, but that is not an entirely bad spot. However, you are slow in the water. I'm gonna take a jockey up there with the separation. Reloading. Not too much damage gonna be done gonna be done. Saturn is able to dodge a few tank swings there. Molotov's not entirely useful when you're fighting a tank down in the water. However, once you get further up on land, it will force him back to the water. There comes a tank back here to put himself out. Oh, we're gonna catch a rock right there. Did not see that one coming. Oh, and a leg spike. Tank is still very high health. Boomer coming in right there. Oh, that was very close. Not able to get anything with that combo. Tank is still up, rocking from a great distance. Not going to land anything, though, in this shrubbery. Probably could be using my med kit now. We're in such good positioning on the tank. Going for that ammo. Have yet to see the tank come in now. Don't know what he's doing. Rocking from a distance, I guess. He must be low health. 
on the second phase of the tank attack, I guess. The only thing I will say about rock tanking from where he's at is that you really don't want that position. You want it to be the opposite. You want the survivors to be in the water and you to be up here in the bushes. But I mean, that's just how it happened this time, I guess. Tank is still trying to drop rocks on us. However, it's difficult to do without being able to correctly judge the distance and elevation here. Thanks to all these trees, anyway. Tank did go down there, I guess. And Saturn must have pushed up and put a few more rounds into him. He was very low. Grabbing ammo, grabbing everything we need, heading back upstairs. Spit's gonna go down and stop that for just a moment. I don't think it's gonna be a huge problem. I don't think there's anything up to capitalize on that. There we go. Getting upstairs, no troubles. Back into the original spots. Very easy. Looking for that attack to come in now. Probably from the hole. There's the charger dropping down right there. Gonna bust out the sword and chop him in half. Nothing else came in behind that charger. I'm very surprised by that. Hunter did try to come from the side there, but he did get cleared by a headshot. Jumped right into the bullets, I imagine. Timing is everything with those attacks is infected. Sometimes you just have to wait for the guy that's at the window you're going through to reload before you jump in. Switching up windows. I really don't have a preference to what window I'm at. Spitter from the outside. Looking for a clear. I know better than to run out there though with all the smokers and whatnot play that here. Ooh, Boomer coming in underneath the, the uh, cover of that jockey smoke, clearing them both by himself as he pops. I don't know if that was a good idea, but whatever. It did boom us all, but without a separation to use anything, or without a separation to do any damage, it's not really going to help. That smoker finally goes down, the one that's been harassing us this entire time. And now we're looking at tank number two here. Hopefully we won't do the same thing we did the first one, which is run around like idiots. Reloading. Tank looking to be aggressive right away. He doesn't have anything in to help him, though. There is a hunter bounce around, but I don't think he's going to be able to help at all. Tank over here looking for the light. He is way off in the distance, though. Going to try for that light. Looking for it. There it is, bouncing off his leg and lighting him on fire. He can either rush us now or he can run back to the water. Looks like he's going to rush us. Not a good decision to make. However, you probably lose about half his life running back to the water anyway. There he goes, back to the water. He's going to take a lot of damage before he gets there, though. A lot of damage, and there he goes down. Now it's just waiting for the boat. Boomer getting an interesting spawn right there. Excuse me. Along that uh, side of the dock, not able to quite use it though. Interestingly enough, there is no horde here. I had my pipe out expecting some horde to come, but uh, yeah, scary quiet right here. Hunter jockey coming in different times, not gonna be a big issue. Spitter going down on the platform. Gotta be careful of that. Especially on small platforms like this that you want to be on. And it's easy as that to finish around. We did have about a 300 point lead, so that is game right there. We'll watch them play it out though, just to see how they do it. I imagine they'll probably do it the same way we did. Opening attack, Charger Boomer, can be good for separation, assuming that the boom can land first, <coughs> excuse me. 
uh, in this area, it can be advantageous to smoke the first one out, like you would say on No Mercy 2, but sometimes it doesn't quite work like you want it to, such as right there. Boomer can drop in perfectly, but is he going to be able to hit anything? Yes, he is. I'm going to wait for my charge, which means I'm going to be very low health before I finally get it. So I'm going to need to clear before I land. I was just looking for something that wasn't quite going to happen there. It's alright. A lot of map to go left. To go left? Yes. A lot of map to go left. It's a nice bite bomb right there. That killed about no zombies. Might be able to have an attack in up here at the cars. And the ray putt there. We'll see. Hard to say. Looking for that boomer spawn, that's just not going to happen in time. Trying for distraction, but just nothing there to help. Not as good as maybe wanted that attack to happen, but it is a difficult area to attack in. Boomer does get popped there, leaving us with a smoker spitter up. Might be able to do something in this room here. Not quite able to capitalize enough on that. Doesn't look like the spit spread enough inside that hut. Could have been good, could have been bad. It was worth a shot. You can see underneath that van. Be aware of that when you're trying to spawn anything behind it. Seeing if they go to the house. We do have a charger, so enclosed areas are advantageous. Now with the boomer, you're looking for that open area, if you can get the boom off. One more attacking before they start it. A nice boom up front, they're able to hit three of them in the front. <coughs> Should be able to capitalize on this guy by himself, maybe. Charger not there to help me, can't get his spawn. Hunter is on Zoe up front. Quite a bit of damage off that. And there comes the Charger spawn. <coughs> Just missing. Excuse me. Able to get a couple of punches. Well, one punch. For a little bit of damage. And I'm sorry if you're seeing any frame skipping. That's me uh, pausing the video. So I can cough off to the side so you don't hear me. I am still a little bit sick. Trying my best to cast, though. Looks like they are holding up in this room. Best to open this window early. While there's nobody up there to shoot you when you open it. Um, it's difficult to attack people in the room, but like I said, if you drop everything in that window at once, it sometimes can be good. You kind of have to just roll with the punches, though. Can't really expect anything. With a spitter, you can pre-spit it and then drop a boomerang, hoping to pop on a guy who's stuck in the spit. But that is a very fragile attack. Um, I don't think you can shoot through this roof. Maybe in some spots, but I'm, I don't think it doesn't work too well. Dropping through the hole. Able to get two of them in the spit. Very nice, going to do a little bit of damage with that jockey's help there. A good initial attack. Smoker able to drag him back through the spit for a couple more dings of damage. A good start attack right there. Kind of sets the pace for this area. We'll be dropping most of our attacks through that hole. A nice pipe there cleans up a lot of the horde. Getting a charger here. There's quite a few things you can do with it. Uh, some people will wait for the separation charges when people get in the doorways and out in the areas they shouldn't be. However, that is... Eh, maybe a little more fragile than you might want it to be. I find it's best just to, like I said, drive everything through the hole and hope for the best. There we go. All coming in at once. Not able, quite able to hit Bill. I do knock the hunter off Zoe, though. Not exactly what I wanted to do. I did kind of uh, get a little anxious and charge early. That's right, though. Did do a little bit of damage. And we're all going at once. That's what counts. Should be looking at the first tank right now. Or very shortly, anyway. Francis does go down up top to the horde. Uh, not necessarily a bad thing unless they can't get him up because of the spit. Oh, we might be able to play off this. Look at this. Oh, a nice charge there. And a smoke gonna happen on that guy. <clears throat> Gotta spit that. Where's number three? Number three is jockeyed over there. A nice try cap on that down right there. Very strong attack, completely improv, and it worked extremely well. That is how you pull off a, a tri-cap right there. 
<laughs> completely random and unorganized. I love it. It was a super good attack right there. I wish I had a better angle on it. I would attack break down it, which I may yet do. Hmm. A close game on a new map. A new map that they left relatively unchanged, which is something they haven't done before. But it makes for a very, very fun game. 